Today I'm going to show you an incredibly quick and simple way to paint your Zergules with only a handful of paints right after this. Hey everyone, Sam here from the Tabletop Hub, your one-stop shop for all things tabletop, and today I'm going to show you an incredibly easy way to paint your Zergules for Blackstone Fortress. Now at the moment I've been taking some time out from painting other games, primarily Fallout Wasteland Warfare, to try and get this boxed game completed, uh, and sometimes it's just nice working on something you know only has a limited amount of minis to complete, and once you do complete them it's done, as opposed to a game that will have continuous releases and keep you busy for the next couple of years. Now one thing I equally want to do while working through Blackstone Fortress is keep all of my paint styles incredibly simple so that we can see if we can speed paint these minis, make them look really good and get them out on the table as soon as we can. So first of all I gave the Zero Ghouls an undercoat with an Army Painter Uniform Grey Rattle Can and then gave that undercoat a zenithal highlight of matte white at a 45 degree angle just to pick out the highlights and the muscles. Uh, and this will do the majority of the work for us, you'll be amazed at how quickly we're going to get through this. Next I took some Dragonhof Nightshade and gave the entire model a wash, letting the dark blue just seep into the recesses. Now one thing I would say is try and not let the wash pull too much, uh, and you're going to want to make sure that you don't leave any streaks or pulls on the peaks of the ghoul's muscles, but if you do don't worry too much, we'll, we'll try and cover those up in a second. Next get some matte white and give the entire model a dry brush, and this will accent the highlights of the muscles and really make the Dragonhof wash a lot more subtle uh, and give it a really nice effect. And if we're lucky, it should cover up any streaks or pulls that you got on the highlights of the muscles as well. Now for the final step, we're going to make a glaze, which is something I hadn't done before I painted these models, uh, so my strategy to do so may not be completely legitimate, but here's what I did. In order to paint the hands, I got some of Army Painter's Grimoire Purple, I added about four drops of water to the Grimoire Purple and gave it a good mix around. Now once the paint was almost in a wash-like state, I then brushed this onto the hands, starting at the fingers and pushing away from myself up the arm of the ghoul. This meant that most of the paint would remain on the hands and finger area, and I could then push the remainder that found its way up the arms into the recesses of the muscle. You'll also want to add this to the face, you'll see the way that the ghouls have all those kind of like eye holes. Start your brush there and very gently paint up, don't go right up to the top of the head, you'll more so want to stop just about where the grooves end, which I assume are what the, the ghouls call their eyebrows. Now the reason why we're painting in that very specific direction is so that once the water kind of dries, that the paint will kind of slowly work its way back down to where we originated, uh, and you'll have a really nice fade on the, the arms, the muscles there, uh, and on the face. It looks really, really nice once it's all finished. Now you may find that you need to add two coats of the glaze in order to make it really come through on both the arms and the eyes, but what we're trying to do here is just create that subtle hint of colour, we don't want it to be too severe. And folks, that is it. It's super simple, super easy, and it looks really great in my opinion. Honestly, I had all four of these ghouls painted within about an hour to two hours, which is exactly what we want to be doing on this project. But folks, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend it here on my channel. Feel free to subscribe for more painting guides and videos just like this. But until next time, have a great week, and I'll speak to you all soon.